What's up guys, so in today's video we are going to break down the Modern Warfare 3 Zombies cutscene for Season 5 which introduces us to the Black Ops 6 Zombies map, Liberty Fall. So without further ado, let's get this cutscene broken down. So literally in the first frame of this cutscene we can clearly see that Liberty Falls is in West Virginia and I mentioned that this map could be a transit remake but that's not probably going to be the case because transit's based in Washington and this is based in West Virginia but it could have similar concepts to transit in the map potentially we're just going to have to wait and see. We also know from the cutscene that Ravinoff is still alive because people were not sure whether he's still alive or what was going on with his character or whatever have you but we are now um, ensured that he's alive and that means he's going to be playing a huge role in the Black Ops 6 storyline as well as probably the continuation of this storyline in the future. Then up next you see a couple of blueprints that are on the desk and one of those blueprints is definitely the wonder waff i know that for certain you can tell by the way it looks and things like that and then there's another blueprint next to it which i think is the jet gun blueprint but i could be wrong i didn't really play much modern warfare um, 3 zombies so you guys can correct me in the comments but it does look like the jet gun blueprint and it would make sense considering we've seen this weapon literally in the teaser trailer and i'm about 90 percent sure it's going to be in the game so this may suggest that we might have the wonder waff and the jet gun as the wonder weapons for this map which is very exciting if that's the case so on the desk next to the blueprints we can see the project janice incident report which says incident report liberty falls and this suggests to me that this takes place after the events of black ops 6 meaning she's going back to liberty falls to investigate something so we already know that the timeline for modern warfare 3 zombies is actually ahead of black ops 6 it's set more in the modern day in the future whereas the black ops 6 storyline if for zombies anyway is going to be set in the 1990s so the events of liberty falls have already happened for those of you who don't know she's gone back there to see what's going on like the aftermath if that makes sense because obviously there's still something going on there that we still don't know about now when she opens this report you can clearly see that there's an image of rick toffin on the report itself so this suggests that it was his operation and it was his investigation so the question is what was Rick Toffin up to during this period was he um, trying to shut a dark ether portal was he causing the chaos to happen we've got no idea but this actually suggests why I said in my Liberty Falls trailer breakdown that I was kind of correct with I think Rick Toffin is going to have a heavy involvement in this map and we're going to play as Requiem but the big thing on this desk more importantly is the huge transcripts that's pretty hard to actually read in the cutscene so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna read the whole thing out in a second and then we're gonna go over a few key points about it to see what we can find out deposition one subject crystal miller february 23rd 1991 um janice security chief john blanchard attending hello crystal i'm john do you remember me from yesterday <laughs> I'm sorry, Crystal. You're going to have to speak into the microphone. Can you do that for me, hon? Yes. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Do you think you can answer them for me? Yes. How old are you, Crystal? Five. Five. Okay. You're doing great. You're being very brave. Do you know why you're here? Yes. Do you think you can tell me why? Because they're all dead. Who's dead, Crystal? Mummy, Daddy, the man in Oliver's comic book store. Can you tell me what happened? Other people from the town chased Daddy down the alley and bit him and he fired his rifle. Their mum grabbed my wrist really, really hard and pulled me down the street and it really hurt. So let's go over the few points from this interview. So first of all, we know the interviewer is called John and that the subject is called Crystal. We're also told in the interview when John asks what her age is that she's only five years old. Now this rings alarm bells in itself before we get further into this because why on earth would somebody interview a five-year-old about anything that happens during a zombie outbreak? It's very, very weird and very, very um, interesting. She must have either been one of the only survivors or she must know a lot more than, than, than meets the eye. But then she goes on to say the reason that she's here is because the people she cares about are dead. So a mum, a dad, etc. And this gives me a few questions. Has she killed them? Or does she know why the outbreaks happened? 
Or, the best question of all, does she have links with the Dark Aoife like Ava and Maxis? So, to answer the first question regarding did she kill them, I genuinely have an inkling that she probably hasn't killed them or caused their murder as such, but I think she knows why they died and what happened. Um, that leads on to the second question of why the outbreak happened. I think she knows why the outbreak happened, and I also think that just like Ava and Maxis, I think she has a Dark Aoife involvement, because Maxis and Ava are heavily involved in the Dark Aoife, they have all these magic powers and stuff, and I think Crystal is going to play a key role in Liberty Falls, and she's going to have similar powers, and she's going to tell us a lot more information about what goes on in the Dark Aoife and how it all truly operates. Now, some of you have got really deep into this transcript, might be wondering who the man in the comic book store is. Again, I've got no idea. It's probably just a random person, but for all we know, it could be a key character that's in the storyline. It could be a member of Re Requiem, or it could be some someone who Rick Toffin knows. So it's worth to bear that in mind that this could be a more important person than you think it is. And unfortunately, that's where the transcript part comes to an end, because there's actually not much more information, to be quite honest with you. That's all it says. It's only one page. And I imagine there's a lot more to this interview, and maybe we'll find out in an intro cutscene or some kind of uh, Easter egg in the future. We'll Regarding this map which will give us a little bit more information of what that transcript was really about. Now this is where it gets to the really exciting part because when Janice moves away from the mirror or Ava whoever you want to call her a figure appears in it. Now I'm no expert but I'm 90% sure that looks like the Shadow Man. You've got the hat and the figure. I could be very, very wrong about this, and this could just be me just being hopeful that he's back at this point. But he genuinely does look like the Shadow Man, and I think that could happen potentially, because at the end of the day, the, the Shadow Man, Dr. Monty, and all the rest, they went into the Dark Aether. And we never really heard from them since. So it makes me wonder whether they're still in there and they're still conjuring up something evil ready to release back into the real world and get out of the Dark Aether. And I genuinely think the Shadow Man plays a big role in this. I could be wrong, but it looks like the Shadow Man could be back in Zombies. And just before Ava puts the um, transcript notes from the project down to the table, you can see a confidential letter which is clearly written by Edward Richtoff into the CIA. However, I tried really hard, I promise, and I guarantee another Zombies YouTuber is going to figure this out or know how to read it. But I couldn't read the note, unfortunately, but if you guys can always tell me what it means, that would be fantastic. Then we can um, answer a few more questions maybe in a future video. But I found it really interesting because if it's a confidential letter and you can only see it for less than a second, it must play a really big significant role what Rick Toffin's plan is if it's confidential or secret. It shows that he's hiding a lot and there's definitely something evil he's up to. It, it's really interesting. You can also see in this picture images of the Liberty Falls outbreak. Now, I can't really make out what's going on, but there's clearly been pictures taken. There's cl clearly lots of documentation um, that's in this folder that we can't see at the moment. And I'm sure we're going to experience that and learn more about it when we play the map. Then the last part of this cutscene, Ava thinks you can see her mum in the mirror, then all of a sudden she gets sucked into it. Now, I actually think that the Dark Aether, or the Shadow Man, or whatever's in there, makes you see what you want to see, so you get sucked into the mirror, and then you get uh, thrown into the Dark Aether, so it lays you a trap, it gives you a false impression and you think you can see the nicest thing in the world but when you get close to it you'll get dragged into it to um, suffer for all eternity i genuinely believe that i also have another theory about rick toffin's plan that i've literally just thought of just now so you know um in tag der toten in black ops 4 right samantha maxis and edward leave together holding hands and they obviously go into the new universe or the 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 old universe whatever you want to call it they go into the universe it's not the dark ether and I actually reckon that Rick Toffin might not be up to bad as well. I genuinely think he's trying to free someone or something from the Dark Aether that means a lot to him. He can't release our classic characters because they're all dead. But here's a theory. 
What if the Victus crew is trapped in there and he wants to release them and free them of the Dark Aether? Or he's, or he's working with them to w get inside the Dark Aether so that he can do something, so that he can make things right again. He could be doing all this for the greater good for all we know. There's lots and lots of interesting ideas that I've got about this, but that is my little theory about it. But you have to play Tag Dirt Totem and play Black Ops 4 to understand what I'm talking about. Then last but not least, we get a lovely image of Liberty. Falls itself and I think this would be the overview of the zombies map it looks a lot smaller at least a little bit smaller than the terminus one but it looks like a good playable area it's like a big town with a lot of buildings and a lot of stuff going on so it's obviously bigger than the multiplayer version of Liberty Falls because that thing is extremely tiny I've been very disappointed but it looks like we're gonna have a lot of playable space and um, judging by the trail that we got with the teaser there's gonna be some dark ether elements um, within it as well um, and I just can't wait to play it to be honest with you. I actually, I'm actually more excited for Liberty Falls on the basis of it looks more storyline focused with Rick Toffin and stuff. And I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit more excited about that than the other side of the story. I'm excited for Terminus as well, but this Liberty Falls one, because of how mysterious they're being about it and they've not revealed it yet, it makes me more curious, it makes me more involved, and it makes me more excited. Anyway, guys, that is actually it for today's video. Really hope you enjoyed my little breakdown of this cutscene. I'm sure I've done I've done an okay job for what I can do. Um, I'm sure other YouTubers have done a better job than me, but I've tried my best. I hope you guys enjoyed, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.